everybody, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. We're on our way to the farm shop here. We're going to show you how to clean diesel fuel injectors using Seafoam Motor Treatment. This method can be very effective. It's also safe and it's fast and there's no need to pull parts. Keep in mind that you can use this on any diesel equipment, whether it's ag equipment, heavy duty, big trucks, pickup trucks, diesel generators, you name it. We're going to demonstrate on this new used diesel pickup truck with 108,000 miles. Let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is add a cleaning dosage of seafoam to the fuel. This truck has about 10 gallons in it, so we're going to eyeball about 20 ounces into the fuel tank. Always remember that seafoam is made from highly refined petroleum. It cannot harm an engine and you cannot add too much to fuel. In fact, the more seafoam you add to fuel, the better it cleans. We're all done here. Now we're ready to warm up the engine. With seafoam in the fuel, the next thing we do is heat the engine up to operating temp. We've been driving this truck so the engine is hot and ready to go. From a cold start, let your engine run for at least 10 to 15 minutes. If it's cold outside, you can operate the engine a bit to speed things up. Once the engine is hot, shut it off and be ready to remove the fuel filter. Now we're ready to replace the fuel filter. On this truck, I just twist off the filter housing cover and remove the old filter. With the filter out, either drain or siphon the fuel from the housing. At this point, rather than prime the empty housing with diesel fuel, I simply fill it up with seafoam and install the new filter. This truck uses a filter element with the cover. If the engine has a spin-on type, simply fill the filter can to the top and thread it back on. Now with the fuel filter filled with seafoam, I'm going to start the engine and let it idle for two minutes. At this point, the engine's actually running on straight seafoam. After running for two minutes, turn off the engine to allow the seafoam to hot soak the injectors and chamber residues for five to 15 minutes. Our last step is to operate the engine after the hot soak period. This allows the engine to burn away the dissolved hydrocarbon residues. Just start the engine and drive or operate for 30 minutes. Don't be afraid to run it hard. The more heat and compression under load, the better. Remember that we have a cleaning dosage of seafoam in the fuel tank. That's going to continue to clean injectors in the chamber while we drive. Now let's do a quick review on how seafoam motor treatment works to clean and protect diesel fuel systems. When added to diesel fuel, seafoam helps to remove soot and carbon residues from injector nozzles, intake valves, and chambers. Restore injector spray patterns, recover lost fuel volume, reclaim engine power, adds lubricity, and controls small amounts of moisture. When added to crankcase oil, seafoam dissolves and liquefies petroleum deposits, cleans sticky lifters, tensioners, and oil control rings, reduces stiction, and restores flow and lubricity to restricted oil passages. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful. We recommend a diesel injector cleaning at least once a year and every time you change a filter. I've got about 28 minutes of driving to do in order to burn off these hydrocarbon residues. Until next time, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. Thanks for watching.